So today we're going to be taking a look at the functionalities of two knives from the Kane Chan Thomas Keller series and it is going to be this cheese knife as well as this serrated utility knife. Alright, a quick disclaimer, Kang Shang did send me both of these knives completely free of charge to help them with this functionality series, but I am not getting paid monetarily by Kang Shang Cutlery. So first, let's talk about this cheese slash tomato knife. If you love cheese, you love to entertain, you like to get your wine on, you know, you love charcuterie platters and things like that, especially for charcuterie platters, this knife is a must-have. Now, there are three main characteristics of a cheese slash tomato knife. There is the serrated edge the slotted blade, and then also the prong tip. The serrated edge, of course, helps you cut through crusty breads, small baguettes that you have on your charcuterie platter, waxy fruits, veggies, and also hard cheeses because when you have a smooth surface, these teeth help bite into that surface without actually crushing the item itself. Now the second characteristics are these holes in the blade these holes slash slots in the blade. This is actually one of my son's favorite knives because he says this knife looks the coolest. The slots are actually specifically designed to help cheese release. That means when you're cutting through the cheese, these holes, because there's less surface to grab onto or stick to, will help the cheese or prevent the cheese from sticking to the knife. Lastly, we have the prong tip. The prong tip is used kind of as a serving tool. So when you're serving your charcuterie platter with this knife, the prong tip actually can help you move all your charcuterie items, your cheese and fruits and things like that around the platter without you having to touch it. So it kind of doubles as a prong slash fork. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this 5 inch serrated utility knife. Kangshank also sells a fine edge version which is a non serrated version and I actually prefer the non serrated version more than the serrated version. I look at the utility knife as a big brother to the paring knife because it is right in between the size of a paring knife and a chef knife. And I actually prefer this knife over the paring knife and here's why. The paring knife is great for you know small detail work and peeling and things like that but when it comes to just overall prep I prefer the utility knife more because it is a longer knife. The longer knife allows me to cut through most average size fruits and veggies and produce with one sweep instead of having to do several cuts with a paring knife because it's a shorter blade. Now one of the reasons I prefer a fine edge over a serrated edge is because I get to sharpen the fine edge at home. Whereas a serrated edge, I have to send it out to a professional with special tools to get the serrated edge sharpened. But I'm not saying that there's not a special place for serrated edges because there are a lot of times a serrated edge will save you a lot of headache. Such as cutting through bagels, cutting through waxy fruits, cutting through crusty breads or small rolls. That's when a serrated edge really comes in handy or when you have a very delicate piece of meat with a nice crust on it. For example, if you have a perfectly cooked piece of duck breast with a very crispy skin on it, you can saw through the skin without smashing the meat underneath it and pushing and releasing a lot of the juices out of that perfectly cooked piece of duck. Now it might seem like both of these knives are fairly interchangeable because they're both serrated edges, but the truth is the utility knife for meal prep is a much more nimble knife due to the thinner and more narrow tip. Now let's go ahead and move on to the cut tests. All right, so the first thing we want to cut here is a piece of cheese just to demonstrate how well the cheese knife works. You can see here, it doesn't stick to it as much as other knives would. It just glides right through that cheese. It does still take a little bit to push it off, but compared to like trying to scoot it around a blade and then like trying to push it off, this is a much easier knife to get it off of. Now, the next thing we have is a baguette, which is a very common item inside a charcuterie platter. As you can see, serrated edge, it's cutting through the baguette in absolute breeze. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the utility knife. Now as you can see this is the waxy fruit like we talked about before and it cuts through it with no issue whatsoever. It's so easy to cut through this because it bites right into it and it doesn't slip around. Like sometimes if your knife is just slightly dull it'll slip around on a waxy surface or a smooth surface like this whereas when you have a serrated edge it just bites right into it and it slices right through. Now, the same thing can be said 
for this tomato knife as well. You see? Because it has these slots, it just falls right off compared to when you're using the utility knife. Look at that. It just comes right off of it. Now let's go ahead and try the utility knife on a baguette. Same thing here. Cuts through with no issue whatsoever. Now I do have to say that cutting through the baguette, I actually prefer the cheese knife more because it has a little bit more heft to the blade. On this guy, is actually a little thicker, so it actually cuts through the baguette a lot easier. So this concludes the functionality video for the cheese knife as well as the utility knife, and I hope you guys like the content. If you guys do, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It'll mean the world to me, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.